Right, round two done. Time to see results what the results were. Will be displayed in the warehouse. Okay. Thank you for your participation. No problem. Ambidex gates now opening. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Okay, here we go. Is it not going to show other people who just came out? Please direct your attention to the results screen. I kind of wanted to see how they looked before seeing the results. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so the only person who picked Betray was Ted Miyoji. If he was really the one that went in that door, which I'm assuming he was because it showed his face. <laughs> uh, and they chose Ally. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Uh... Wait, that means Quirk is at 9. That means he's just going to leave. If he's not dead. Isn't he? You should have chose Ally. Oh well. Okay, alright. Luna's still, Luna's still okay. Luna's still okay. We can trust her for the time being. Can I progress? Points have been assigned. Or subtracted accordingly. Alright. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. That concerns me though. He should have chosen an ally. <laughs> thank you, Sigma. <laughs> no need to thank me. I just did what I promised I'd do. Anyway, thank you too. It's nothing. I also just did what I promised to do. Now we both have seven BP. This is the home stretch. Yes, it is. I hope we'll get to pair up in the next round because too. Because I'll choose ally. Well, I don't know. Because <laughs> we just told you that whole explanation of how it, it it would only matter in the next round <laughs> yeah you're an opponent i can trust if we were partners you could pick whatever you wanted then couldn't you i mean you'd get nine points either way would i no i wouldn't well i mean if i went up if or if i went up three or two sure but why would i suddenly choose betray I've already chosen ally twice because we just said <laughs> we just had that whole conversation where we told her that it would matter more in the next round if I were to choose betray. <laughs> You're right. So let's choose ally and get the hell out of here together. Sound good? I don't know. <laughs> I trusted her that round more. I don't know if I would trust her for a third round. Okay. I don't know. Come on, why do you look so well, sad? It's just, there's a part of me that just can't feel genuinely happy about that. Why? Oh, you mean Alice? Oh, oh right. I f <laughs> That's so bad, I forgot. I forgot. Yes. We still haven't found Quark either, huh? That too. Still, Quark's BP is 9 now. Technically, he's 1. He could leave. Why did you do that? Why did you tell me all that stuff for? Were you just lying? Did Tenmyoji say a bunch of stuff so that Quark could win? No. Everything I told you was the truth. You have to trust me. I did! Look where it got me! How could you do that? 
You're such a jerk. How could I betray you after that? And then you... you... I'm sorry. Are you zero? What? No, of course I'm not zero. No, I don't think he is. <laughs> then how could you know all that? Where did you find out about that stuff? I told you, I... Don't lie to me! I'm not lying. Forget it. It was stupid to trust you. I mean, there's no way. Clover, this isn't about me. I... I made a mistake. I got someone involved on in all this when I shouldn't have. Mm. I... You mean Quark? Yeah. You did this to get Quark's BP up to nine? Why? He'd be the only one yes. that could leave. But you've only got four points. I'm not important. The only thing that matters is that Quark gets out of this nightmare. Hmm. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to look for Quark. Hey, wait! Tenmyoji didn't respond, just turned and walked off towards the magenta door. Clover started to follow, then pulled up short. Oh. She spun on her heel and headed off toward the cyan door instead. What just happened? I thought Clover had said she didn't trust any of us anymore. Yeah, I know. But then she chooses ally? Temyoji must have said something to her before the last round started, but what? Come to think of it, didn't you choose ally yes, too? Yes, I did. Phi put herself in a situation where choosing Betray would be unwise. If she had chosen Betray, Dio would have 9 BP now. I concluded that her desire to avoid that outcome would be stronger than her desire to protect herself with Betray. And so, I voted accordingly. That was her guarantee? Yes. Then why didn't you choose Betray? You could be walking out of here with nine points right now. It's because you promised, right? <laughs> yes, that too, I suppose. That too? There was another reason? Yes. What was it? It's difficult to explain. I suppose you could say I felt a connection. What do you mean by that? Well, when we were investigating the pantry together, I felt that Phi was somehow similar to me. Mm -hmm. Something in me said, don't betray her. You could call it intuition, I suppose. Cut it out. Gut feelings are bullshit. They've, they've done well for me so far. Fine. Besides, you don't get to have a connection with me unless I give you permission. And I don't remember doing that. That the... <laughs> You're acting like we're pals or something. Kind of skeeves me out, to be honest. What the hell, man? He did you a favor, and now you're gonna give him shit for it? <laughs> you chose Ally, too. Didn't you do that because you trusted him? Not exactly. I just made him trust me. When we were in the pantry, I stuffed my face like an idiot. That got him to lower his guard. What? Did you really think that would be enough to convince him? I mean, if you were wrong, then he could have escaped and left you what behind. What are you getting at? Well... I'm just thinking that maybe you felt some kind of connection to him, too. Oh, come on. 
How am I supposed to feel a connection for a guy whose face I haven't even seen? You tell me. Shut up. Um, if we could uh, change the subject, where did Dio go? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. He must have been here for the results. Oh, I saw him leave. He checked the results and then left through the yellow door. So where did he go? The yellow door. <laughs> Suddenly the warehouse was filled with the groan and clang of metal doors grinding shut. Oh, right. I was like, what? The Ambidex gates have closed. Round three of the Ambidex game will be the star round. Star keys are required to open the gates. Is that going to be the last? I guess that would have to be the last round. Because there's only um, the like symbols in this game are the the moon, the sun, and the star. And there that's the last no one. There is no set limit on usage of the star keys. Oh. So you would just keep going in and out so this would be the last round of doing puzzle stuff but you could just keep going in and out the ambidex gates can be opened as many times as the players wish to open them as many times as we want huh then that means as long as you have the star keys you can play the ab game as many times as you want you probably won't be allowed to play it continuously however there's a period of time between when the doors open and when the polling ends. Based off the last two rounds, I think it's about 45 minutes long. So you can repeat the game once every 45 minutes or so? Oh, that's right. Oh, what? Remember what Zero Jr. said? As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically! The pair! solo assignments hop around a bit too but what's gonna happen with not having alice uh what are your bracelets guys looks like i'm still a pair i'm a gentle pair me too oh god why <laughs> why am i with you again looks like we're pairing up again Better than getting stuck with Dio, I guess. I want to see different people. <laughs> I want to hang out with different people and the game's just like... Forcing me into these. I'm a yellow pair. What about you, Luna? I'm a She's solo still a solo. Green. <laughs> oh, I can't... Do you want to switch, Luna? But wait green yes hold on a minute weren't the colors for the first game red green and blue and we used those colors to open the magenta yellow and cyan doors yes, right that's right then the next round we ha we had magenta yellow and cyan bracelets And opened the red, green, and blue yes. doors, right? But this time we've got magenta and yellow pairs, but also a green solo. What colors are and we where supposed are to open? They? Uh. Well, we need to check the other bracelets before we make any decisions. That means Dio, Tenmyoji, and Clover. And Quark. We'll need to check Alice's bracelet, too. Anyone could just pick it up now. I will try and find the remaining people and their bracelets. Quark will be my first priority. I'll come with you. Very well. I'll go check on Alice's bracelet, then. And don't forget to, um, retrieve it. We'll likely need it to get through the chromatic doors. Right. Sigma, can you come with me? Oh, uh, what? Oh, uh, okay. 
So Alice will probably be a pair, because it'd be really weird if she was a solo, because then <laughs> the people who go with her would just like be guaranteed to get whatever vote they want, right? I'm gonna have to see her again. I feel sick just thinking Should about we it. Should we decide on a time to meet up? Just in case? Let's see. When do the doors open? Like an hour and a half? An hour wow. and 21 minutes. Then let's take half of that. What do you say we all meet back here in 40 minutes? Sounds good. Kay and Luna step through the magenta door and out of the warehouse. Hey, you don't, uh, you don't think Kay is the killer, Maybe. do you? Maybe? But if he is, then Luna's in danger. Maybe. Damn it, fine. You're not one to talk. I didn't see you stopping her. Well, yeah, but... I just had this gut feeling that I could trust a him. A gut feeling, huh? Sure you're not the one who's feeling a connection to our armored friend? I mean, all that plating is pretty flattering to his figure. That's not it. Are you sure? Yeah. Have you considered that it might be Luna? No, that's not, not? possible. Because Luna didn't need a knife to kill Alice. What? When we played the last round, Alice's BP was one. Right, yep. Luna was playing against the two of us. All she would have had to do is convince us to vote ally, and she could have killed Alice easily. She would have just had to pick Betray. Exactly. But if she'd done that, do you really think the rest of us would have let her get away with it? We'd probably have tied her up or locked her away or something. Besides, there's no way in hell Alice would have chosen ally. The only way to get an ally vote from your pair would have been to physically overpower Alice. Or trick her like I did with Dio. So, what? You're saying Luna's the killer? No, I'm not. I'm just saying the possibility exists. Even if she was, I don't think we'd need to worry about Kay's safety. He's got a full suit of armor. I'm betting he's pretty hard to kill with all that on. But I think we found the thingy that's like the key to his his neck. I just remembered that thing that we found. That kind of looked like it might have been like a thing that was a key. All right, I think that's enough of that. Let's go check Alice's bracelet. Okie dokie. Quarters. Clover. It, hey, come on, don't run away. Run away. Well, it sure looked like you were trying to get away from us. I wasn't running away, though I just don't want to talk to you. Uh, isn't that pretty much the same thing? Look, running away isn't gonna do you any good. Don't you want to find out who killed Alice? Well, you're not gonna be able to figure it out. Figure that out unless you talk to people. I don't people. need to. I don't need to. Why not? I already figured out who did it. Okay. Yeah, you did that in the last game, and it, <laughs> it, uh, you were wrong. Who was it? I can't tell you. Why? You might be working with them. <laughs> okay. Both of you could be in on it. All right. Oh, come on. Of course we're not. Forget about it. There's no point. It doesn't matter what you tell her. She's never going to believe you. Just tell us one thing, Clover. How did you know who it was? I noticed something. And what was that? Alice figured it out, too, before she... What was it? 
Why don't you figure that out yourselves? Did I have to do with the thing that she was checking out by the rooms? Anyway, I gotta go. Hey, wait, Clover. No, let her go. She's she's no help <laughs> when she's being stupid. Well, there she goes. Ah, shit. What's wrong? Is the bracelet gone? Oh, I forgot to ask Clover what color her bracelet is oh. now. Really? That's it? Calm down. She's a cyan pear. You saw it? Yeah. Snuck a peek at it when she ran by. Who had cyan? Wait, huh? Did anybody have cyan? And it looks like Alice's is a blue solo. Oh. Uh, isn't that not good? Now won't everyone be fighting to go through the door that allows them to go with just Alice's bracelet? <laughs> she reached down and casually picked up Alice's bracelet. I'll hold on to this. Yeah, good idea. I wonder what it was that Clover noticed. You mean what Alice noticed? Were you even listening? Dude, what? It's the same. Why are you such... Anyway... If I didn't answer. Instead, she knelt down and began to examine Alice's body. What are you doing? I'm investigating. What are you investigating? What does it look like I'm investigating? I'm looking for any clues to what she figured out before she died. Huh. Found something already. Have a look. If I held something out, it was a handkerchief. Stained reddish brown. Is that blood? Looks like it. It's darker than Alice's, so it's probably been on her since before she died. Okay. Uh -huh. If it's not hers, whose blood is it? The old lady? Maybe. Do you think Alice killed her? Who knows? She could have just found this somewhere for all we know. Hmm. She was investigating by the rooms. And you think she figured something out from this handkerchief? Can't say for sure, but it's definitely a possibility. So, time we moved on. We need to figure out what Tenmyoji and Dio's bracelets have changed to. Shouldn't we know already? Well, I guess we don't know between the two. But one of them would be a solo. And one of them would be paired with Clover, probably. All right, Cork. Yeah. Yeah, how's this gonna work? Let's take the blue door, then. Maybe there'll be another solo? I... Hmm, I don't know. We should be able to get to the room. What? We should be able to get to the room Tenmyoji, Quark, and Clover went to that Sounds way. Sounds good. Alright. <laughs> Such long transitions. I think it'd be enough for them to just say where they're going and then we're there. <laughs> uh, it says rec room. This is the only door that's unlocked. Yeah. So this is where Ten Miyoji's team went. I'm gonna open it, alright? How many times do I have to tell you? You don't need to keep asking for- Yeah. Okay, okay. 
Even though you want permission for literally everything else. Sure. Oh, this room looks fun. Oh god. <laughs> the rabbit! Temyoji? I'm guessing from your face that Quark is still missing. No sign of him, huh? Happy. What? I'm asking if you're happy Quark's still missing. Why would we be? And then does it hurt? Huh? Are you so terrified about whether or not he's safe that it feels like someone's got your chest in a vice? All right, dude. We don't need to, like, fight over who's... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think so. Quark's got 9 BP. If yeah. I find him first, I might make him escape. So it's better for you if I haven't found him yet. Am I wrong? Temyoji, what is going on here? This doesn't sound like you. I know you're worried about Quark, and but... just what the hell do you know? He's all I've got left. Yeah, because the lady that you knew is dead. If something happens to him, I'll... I'll... Tim Yoji. It's all my fault. It wasn't supposed to be like this. It... Hmm. I never should have brought him here. You brought him here? Did you say brought? Yes. Zero made me an offer. Wait a minute. I thought you said you and Quark were abducted like you the rest of us. You mean you came us. here voluntarily? Hey, answer me. What the hell's going on here? Can I see the other side of your bracelets? The other side? What? Why? Please, just do it. Fi and I looked at one another. Neither of us knew what was going on, but there was no reason to refuse. We shrugged and did as we'd been told. Then suddenly... What? Ah! In the blink of an eye, Tenmyoji pulled out some kind of can from his pocket and sprayed both our wrists with it. Hey! What the hell, man? Calm down. It's not going to hurt you. Is he spraying to see for blood? Is this some kind of chemical? Yeah. I found it when I was searching this room. He walked toward the door and flipped the light switch. Um, yeah, he's spraying Good to work. try and find blood now. or something? Show me your bracelets again. No glows. <laughs> that stuff you sprayed us with was luminol, wasn't it? Yeah. How'd you figure that out? I guess when you turned off the light. Isn't that the stuff they use on cop shows to find blood and uh, other stuff? Yeah. Why did you spray us? To see if we had blood on our hands. <laughs> Just relax, okay? That's all I needed to know. What? Neither one of you is Zero's senior. Are you saying that because there wasn't any reaction from the Luminol? Yep. Uh, someone mind explaining this well, to me? Well, you know as much as I do now. I was just making guesses based on what he was doing. Hey, Tenmyoji. I'm sorry, but I've gotta go. I need to go look for Quark. No. I'm sorry, but I can't let that happen. You dropped a real bomb back there, and I'm not about to just ignore it. What did you mean when you said that Zero made you an offer? Why are you here? I can't tell you. Why? I don't really understand how, but you seem to have decided that neither of us is Zero Senior, yeah. right? Then why- You don't get it. I can't tell you no matter who you are. Right now, we might as well assume Quark is a hostage. Zero Junior seems to be aware of everything that goes on here. If I tell you, he'll know. 
And then God only knows what Zero Senior will do. Please, I'm asking you, put yourself in my shoes. I looked him in the eyes for the first time since we'd entered the room and saw nothing but years of loneliness and regret. Before I could speak, he turned and left the room. Hey, can I ask you a question? It won't do you any good. Whatever you want to know, I don't know anything about it. What? Can you, like, stop? <laughs> no, it's not about what just yeah? happened. Then what is it? Oh, I see. You mean his bracelet, right? Chill, man. He's a red solo. I had a look while he was talking. Okay. Why are all the solo people, like, usually the same people? Oh. Uh, good job. That, uh, wasn't what I wanted to ask either. Well, what is it then? When he sprayed us. You, uh, you screamed, didn't you? No. Yes, you did. I was there. Yeah, you no, did. No, I didn't. No, I'm pretty sure you did. Not quite so tough when you're scared, huh? Shut up. We've got stuff to do. Get going. Move! Alright, alright. Wait, have what? What? This. I was just gonna say, wait, have we found the doors we're supposed to go through? Uh. Oh, <laughs> what? It looks like another warehouse. I guess there's one on this floor too, then. Makes sense. I guessed as much when I saw the map. I guessed when I saw warehouse A. <laughs> What am I? Oh. Okay. What's that over there? Memento Mori. If the ninth lion ate the sun. Hey, we saw lion in the, um, in that one room. It's spelled out lion. Is lion significant? Probably more graffiti. There was one on floor A, too, remember? Yeah, didn't it say something when you rearranged it? Weren't you one of the ones that rearranged them? Can you do this one too? Yeah, there was, but... Never mind that. What do you mean, never mind There's that? someone else here. Is that Dio? Looks like it. Let's go see what he's up to. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be very happy to see you. <laughs> uh, what are you doing here, Dio? Oh, nothing. Just going with the flow, you know? And seeing where life takes me. Okay. You don't seem to have any interest in searching for Quark. Why would I? Do we even know he's really missing? Maybe the little shit's just off having nap time somewhere. So I figure, let sleeping dogs lie, right? Or kids, in this case, I guess. If we wake him up, he might realize he's got enough BP to blow this popsicle stand and ditch us. That happens. It's all over. We'll be stuck in here for the rest of our lives which probably won't be that long the rest of our lives yeah did i stutter or did you just forget zero junior told us remember the number nine door only opens once once that happens it's all over you're close to in nine seconds so be not careful you could get stuck Close for good, huh? I had to admit I'd kind of forgotten that detail, but if Zero Jr. had been telling the truth, we wouldn't be able to get out until he died. Hell, even that might not be enough. Maybe they'd just leave our corpses there to rot. My stomach did a little flip. So? What are you guys here for? There's doors here. We're going. Did you bring Phi here so I can kill her? What? What? Oh, because oh, you're really? mad. You already forgotten your little stunt earlier? 
We're damn lucky Kei Cho's ally. If he hadn't, you'd be hanging from that crane right now. <laughs> Sounds like you're getting a little desperate. Word of advice, Dio. That's not a smart attitude to have here. All you'll do is make sure that whoever plays against you in the A-B game won't pick ally. You talk as if I give a fuck. I already know I won't be up against you two. <laughs> Why not? Kay and I are the yellow pair. Oh. <laughs> you guys are the magenta pair, right? Two pairs can't go through the same chromatic door. Is he the only one that we've never had the opportunity to go through a door with? I think Quirk as well. But we, we haven't seen Quirk. <laughs> so I don't even know what he is. Simple enough for you. How do you know our colors? Kay told me. He was here a while ago. Speaking of which, Temioji and Clover were here too. Guess everybody misses my company. Anyway, that's how I know what everyone's colors are. Was K by yeah. himself? What about Luna? Luna? I haven't seen her. <laughs> I see. Anyway, K and I won't be pairing with you two. We'll be taking the blue solo. No. Nah, nah. That's that's Alice's bracelet. But how did you know that? Oh, come on. Really that thick? Look at the doors in front of you. These are the next chromatic doors. They're all white. <laughs> Bingo. See that thing next to the door there? Looks familiar, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it does. I get it. Oh, wait. Um, wasn't there in the, like, whole uh, diagram that they show of colors? The center is usually white, right? You yeah. and Kay are both yellow. Mm-hmm. You can get yellow by adding red and green together. If you add blue to that. If you add blue to that, okay. <laughs> Comes white. Exactly. So are we stuck going with specific people? What are we again? Are we magenta? So we need green? Who's green? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> you get magenta by adding red and blue together. And then adding green to that gives you white. So that means Fi and I would need to pair up with the green solo, which is Luna. Again? Oh, right. my God. That means the other three would be the same team as before. Temyoji, Clover, and Quark. We know that Temyoji is a red solo, and Clover is a cyan pair, so... The only one left is the other cyan pair. So we can assume that's what Quark is. Wait, I just blanked out. Can you, uh... Say that again. Hello. Can I go up? Hello. Temioji Core. Uh. We know that Temioji is a red solo. Clover is a cyan pair, so. Okay. Oh. No. There's only one option this time. All we gotta do now is wait for these white doors to open. We've only got 45 minutes left before it's time to meet up with everyone else. We should get back to Flore. Sorry, but I'm gonna stay here. Moving Have around fun. so much is a pain in the ass. Nobody invited you. <laughs> Come on, Fi. Right. On my way.
I'm not sure how to feel about Dio. I'll be honest. I like his outfit. <laughs> That's like about it, I think. Also, his outfit makes me a little bit suspicious. Because of the fact that he reminds me of like either a ringleader or a magician. And magicians are associated with rabbits. Which is what Zero the Third is. But. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> uh huh. Something up? Why'd you just well, stop? You see that clock over there? The one that looks like the sun? Yeah. Did you see that it says lion in the back? Like on the wall down there? Or up there? Or wherever we were? <laughs> it reminded me of something we saw earlier. Uh, what do you mean? Remember the graffiti on floor B? Yeah. You remember what it said? The lion? Uh. Memento Mori, right? Memento Mori, if the ninth lion ate the sun. Mm hmm. Do you know what that means? It's Latin for something like be aware of death or remember death. I think it's usually used to mean we're all going to die someday, so don't forget about your own mortality. What about the other part? The ninth lion ate the sun. There's the lion on the wall, and the sun is the clock. I don't know what the ninth means. Well, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, right? If the ninth lion ate the sun, I mean, yeah, it's kind of nonsense, but... Oh, I get it. That's what the clock made you think of, right? The sun is in that sense. Also, lion was on the wall. Yeah. Did you notice anything strange about that graffiti? Uh, apart from the fact that it made no sense? Not really. Huh. Wrong answer. Maybe you're not the eagle eye I thought you were. It said lion. I Is guess I have at? to do everything. Oh god, Part of it was spelled up. wrong. <laughs> was it? Specifically, they spelled ninth wrong. It should be N-I-N-T-H. But the graffiti had N-I-N-E. E T H. Okay. I can't read or spell, so yeah, I guess you're right. They just put an extra E in there. Exactly. That's kind of a boneheaded mistake. Do you think it was, like, a kid who wrote it? Maybe it wasn't a mistake at all. I'm not following. Maybe Zero put that E in there on purpose. But why? Maybe because he didn't have enough letters otherwise. I'm assuming it's another one of the rearranged thingies. What? Anyway, if Zero wrote that graffiti, then it's got to be significant. Remember death. Weren't you the one when we looked at it, you were like, forget about it. <laughs> Remember death if the ninth lion ate the sun. Shit. Hey, it's already two minutes past time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we should get moving. Right. Is the ninth lion referring to Alice? Is nobody here? <laughs> huh? Kay and Luna aren't here. Astute observation. Thank you. <laughs> what should we what do? What do you mean, what should we do? 
All we can do is wait. We don't want to end up missing each other by accident. Yeah. Guess you've got a point. Hey, where are you going? I just want to check something really quick. You gonna check what else is checking? Check what? Yeah. The last time we saw Alice alive, she was right here. Remember? She was kneeling down, looking at something on the ground. Yeah. What do you think she was looking at? Was it the, like, handkerchief or whatever that we found on her? Or blood? <laughs> Find something? Isn't this blood? Uh-huh. Nice work there, Sigma. I don't need you to pat me on the back. It makes me feel stupid or the something. The truth hurts. Hmm. So, blood, huh? Oh my god. Fai suddenly looked up at the ceiling. I followed her gaze and found myself looking up at a, a metal crane. It was the kind you might see in a shipyard. The sort that moves along a metal track and has a claw to grab and lift cargo containers. So, what's the deal with the crane? Is that to pick up the rooms? Yes, it is. What? Damn, gone again. Stop running around! Just tell me what I you found. something. Oh yeah? And what, pray tell, was the that? The thing Clover and Alice noticed. Okay, can people just stop being so roundabout? That's... Ugh. Can't you just tell me? <laughs> Look at the number six AB room. Uh-huh. The side that's facing the wall has blood on it. Oh, the side that's facing the wall has blood on it? The back side? Or you mean this side? What's the first thing you think of when you hear blood? Vampires? <laughs> yeah. This whole thing kind of sucks, right? Come on! This is no time to be screwing around. I'm talking about this thing. Yeah. The handkerchief Alice had. There's mm -hmm. some blood on it that we assume belonged to the old lady. Consider this for a moment. Let's say this thing was on the floor next to the rightmost AB room. We'll yeah. assume that the blood on the side facing the wall came from this handkerchief. Uh huh. Okay, then what? Alice was looking at the handkerchief. Right. What do you think was going through her mind? Why is there a bloody handkerchief here? <laughs> Same brain. Same brain, Sigma. Or something along those and? lines. And someone must have been hurt? The lady? Hmm? Uh, did this belong to the old woman? It must have. And? And why is it out here? But if it did, then who put it here? Or, wait, maybe somebody just dropped it? Or they could have thrown it here? And? Uh... You want more? You're almost there. Uh... How long has this handkerchief been here? Something like that? Yes, exactly. So how long do you think it was here? Uh, well, I imagine it wasn't there from the start. Wait. When's the start? You know, when we started. When you and I escaped from the AB room through the hatch on the roof. The first thing we did after we got out and met everyone except for Clover and Kay was go look at the number nine door. Right? You'd be able to see it. We spent a lot of time examining the AB rooms, too. Yeah, I know we looked at this from this exact angle. 
I'm pretty sure there wasn't any handkerchief there then. There wasn't. So it was placed afterwards, which means she was killed after we had already come out. But not necessarily when Kay came out, right? Wait. Huh. Finally figured it out, huh? Hello? Hello? Hello, what's going on, game? What's happening? Huh? <laughs> what was that? No way. The AB room moved? Oh, was it showing me what we saw back then and what we're seeing? <laughs> that was so confusing. I thought the game was glitching out. They got further away. So it revealed it. So there's stuff under these. Yeah. It makes sense with the crate. Yeah, was it that crane? Probably. They moved the rightmost one all the way to the left. What? So, what was in the leftmost AB room? Leftmost AB room was where the woman died. The body of the old woman. So is this trying to say that they were swapped around? The rooms were swapped around? So that wasn't the room that Kay was in? Kay and Clover? And who was trapped in there when the Nonary game started? Well, it would have been the AB room on the right at first, so I don't remember. <laughs> I honestly, I don't remember. Oh, Luna? Okay. For the third time, Phi walked off without saying anything. But that doesn't... That doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> Why was the handkerchief outside? And... Where did... I feel like I m must have missed something there. Why do we know that the rooms were, like, swapped? Or, like, one was brought over? Just because of the spacing? But also, like, how... So it's saying that Luna got out of her room... Alice got out first, though, so that's a little weird. Luna got out of her room and shoved a handkerchief between the two rooms so that people wouldn't see it. And that whenever it was moved, that handkerchief was revealed. Um. Okay. For the third, for the third, <laughs> for the third time, Vi walked off without saying anything. My body felt like lead, but I forced myself to follow her. She stopped in front of the graffiti that began. Two milkmen. What do you think this is? Blood. Well, I thought it was just paint from the graffiti at first, but I'm guessing you don't think so. Is that more the old Seems woman's like blood? It. So Luna would have killed her here, then taken her to the rightmost AB room? After that, she would have moved the room with the body in it, so no one would suspect her. When did all this happen? 
I'm a little bit confused. Is it trying to say all this happened at the beginning? Was this blood stain here at the beginning or not? Okay, yeah. All right, okay. Hmm. So what about that handkerchief? This thing? Here, look. You see this line? It's possible that line is from whatever the weapon was, which means this might have been wrapped around whatever was used to kill the old woman. Mm-hmm. So maybe Luna wrapped the weapon with this handkerchief. Oh, and it was a knife that Alice found and was then stabbed into her? And then threw it between the rightmost room and the one next to it. Then when the room was moved, it came out. Wait, but did they not just say that Luna moved the room? So she just an idiot or what? <laughs> or did she mean for that to be revealed? I'm confused. That means Alice picked up the weapon along with the handkerchief. Seems yeah. pretty likely. This is all just speculation, understand? There are a whole lot of things we still don't know. Yeah, it's a mystery, all right. For example, why would Luna leave the AB room, murder the old woman, and then carry the body back and hide it in the same room? So is this saying that Luna actually started out with another person? But the lady didn't have a bracelet. I guess it's possible she just wanted to hide the body, but we still don't have any idea why she would have wanted to kill her in the first place. It's also worth noting that Zero Junior seems to have let all this slide. He's supposed to be making sure the game goes according to plan, but so far there have been two murders that he hasn't done anything about. He hasn't done anything about either of them. Do you think that means Luna is Zero Senior? Even if she was, though, I'm not sure why she killed the old woman. I don't know. So, one of the observations that I made at the beginning of the game was that Luna very much had a June slash Akane vibes. She she literally to me looked like June with a wig. <laughs> um, so I was like, I don't see them making the same kind of character zero twice. It seems a little weird, but I don't know. It's possible that she was some kind of intruder who wasn't supposed to be here, but... If Luna is Zero Senior, couldn't she have found a better place to hide the body? See, I'm assuming that she wasn't, and that something came up where... My thought was that something came up where it said, like, only one of you can continue or something, maybe? But she'd have access to the entire facility. That's not all either. Let's say Luna moved the AB room to divert suspicion away from herself. Yeah, then it, she would have been revealing her murder weapon. You would have moved it. If that's the case, why did she leave the handkerchief and the weapon there? Also, when did she move the room? In this scenario, when did she move the room? Because if you're saying she moved the room before anyone else got out of the rooms, then we would not have seen um, K 
Kay and Clover hop out of the, like, leftmost room, which is what made everybody suspicious of Kay in the first place. And I don't know when she would have had the opportunity afterwards. I don't think... Because we were with her. Mm. She had to have known they'd be discovered after she moved them. Yes, okay, thank you. Besides, when and how did she operate that crane? Luna was with us since we first got out of the AB rooms, all the way till we found the old lady's body. You, me, and her went through the magenta door and investigated the lounge. I mean, if you're assuming she's zero, then her little zero the third could have just moved it for her, right? But you could also say that zero the third just moved it to screw her over. <laughs> Then we went down to floor B together and came back to the warehouse. By then the room must have been moved. Of course. Ha, why didn't I see that sooner? Lunar ha Lunar. <laughs> Luna has an alibi. She couldn't have moved the AB room. We're her alibi. Interesting. I have to admit you've got a point. Wait, what? You didn't even put up a fight. You're going to make me repeat myself. I never said Luna was the killer. <sighs> Still, I have a feeling Alice thought she was. Yeah, it does kind of just pin her. It, the, uh... Which would mean that Clover probably does too. Mm. Oh... You mean that stuff she said about what she noticed? Right. Hey, if I... Hmm? I'm starting to get a really bad feeling about this. We were supposed to meet up with the others 20 minutes ago, but there's no one here. You're right. Is Clover off killing everyone again? <laughs> I don't know. Sigma. Uh, uh. Phi. Uh, there you are. Okay. I'm sorry. I have some bad news. <sighs> Luna. Yeah. Luna is dead. Mm-hmm. She's in room two in the crew quarters. The same room where Alice was murdered. Is it gonna do anything? Game? Wait, how'd she die? Was she injected? <laughs> this was the third time I touched a body and felt cold skin. I thought it might get easier, but it had only gotten worse. I didn't think I'd ever get used to it, but I didn't want to. My hands began to shake. I tried to steady them as I pressed a pair of fingers to her neck to check for a pulse. Nothing, of course. Luna was dead. This music is worrying me because it sounds like ending music. <laughs> I already reached a, a bad end. Uh, her eyes were flat and empty. The pupils dilated in what could have been terror. That her eyes are closed. <laughs> it felt surreal, surreal, <laughs> surreal, like I might blink and then she would sit up again. She would smile and blush and look away nervously and everything would be all right. I blinked. She lay there, still dead and pale. And I... I trust him. Grief cracked open like an egg and rage clambered out, hot and angry and screaming. It clawed at the inside of my chest and pounded at the back of my eyes. I squeezed them shut and ground my teeth. My hands balled into fists so tight they hurt. 
I took a deep breath and opened my eyes again. Another breath. I stood there and realized Kay was talking. I believe she was poisoned. Mm. See here. This device is some sort of syringe. I think it's called an injection gun. You can just put whatever you want in one of those vials and then pull the trigger. It's kind of like the needles in these bracelets. The drug they used is the same as well. The label on the vial says so tubocuramine. Oh, right. The muscle relaxant. Yes. Since it's empty, I can only assume Luna was injected with it. You see the mark on her neck. I believe it is safe to assume that is where her attacker injected the drug. Perhaps they chose the neck for the carotid artery. Then your guess is probably correct. Luna was injected with tubocurarine and it killed her. What about the others? Should I go get them? Uh, no, never mind. I want to get your story what first. Do you mean? When you left us, you and Luna went off together, yes. right? But when we talked to Dio downstairs, he said he'd only seen you, not Luna. Why is Luna that? Luna and I split up as soon as we got to floor B. Why? We determined it would be more efficient. Two of us working separately could cover more ground in less time. Alright, so why were you late? What? You didn't show up till 20 minutes past the time we were supposed to meet. Sigma's asking you what you were doing. I was... resuscitating. What? Uh, resuscitating? Let me explain how I found her. Oh, was she still alive? I had gone to the warehouse five minutes before our meeting time. You had yet to show up, as had Luna. I believe I was standing between the yellow and cyan doors. Some minutes later, I heard something. It came from behind the cyan door and sounded like a woman's scream. Well, it was actually quite faint. It was several doors away, after all. And as such, I couldn't quite make out what was being said. Or even if I had heard it at all. It seemed entirely possible that I had imagined it. I heard no other sounds for a few minutes following the scream. Eventually, the silence made me uncomfortable. Perhaps something had happened. So, I made my way to the crew quarters. As I entered the hallway, I noticed that the door to room two was slightly ajar. That was when I first suspected something was amiss. You can imagine the rest, I'm sure. I ran into the room and found Luna on the floor. So you're saying you spent a good 20 minutes trying to resuscitate yes. her? I deduced that she had been injected with tubocurarine. Her heart had stopped, so I attempted CPR. To the best of my abilities, at least. With this mask, I was obviously unable to provide artificial respiration. Why didn't you tell us? Because I had no reason to believe you would be in the warehouse. If you weren't, I would have wasted precious time. I chose instead to begin resuscitation immediately. As you know, even a short time without oxygen can cause serious brain damage. I felt time was of the essence. But... Hey, how much time passed between when you heard the scream and when you came in here and found her? Well, I'm afraid I can't say exactly, but I would hazard a guess that it was around three minutes. Did you see the killer? No, I did not. Then they had three minutes to escape. would have been escape. plenty of time. When you leave this room, immediately to your left is a door that connects to the hallway. I assume they left that way. Is there any chance they hid in this room somewhere? No. I examined the room thoroughly before I left to find you. Um, may I say something? Yeah, sure. I'm not sure if this has anything to do with Luna, but there was something I wanted to point out. Look at Alice. Do you notice anything? Is the knife missing? The weapon. It's gone. Indeed. The wound suggests a knife, but I doubt we'll know now. 
Then did the killer take it? How would I know? Maybe they took it before Luna was murdered. Why are you asking me? I'm not asking you! <laughs> if they had it, why not use it to kill Luna? Hmm. Yeah, that would make sense. What? Sigma, if you were going to kill someone, which of these two methods would you use? I wouldn't kill this anyone. This is hypothetical. I would choose the injection gun. Right? Most people would choose that. The more you can divorce yourself from the actual killing, the easier it is to kill someone. There's a big difference between stabbing someone and injecting them with poison. So you're saying they took the knife before they killed her? No. I don't know either way. They could have taken it afterwards. There's no way for us to know. Could they have done that three minutes before Kay got here? It's not impossible. Three minutes is longer than you think. Anyway, what I was trying to say is that I don't know when they took the knife or whatever it was. We came here to get Alice's bracelet, and then Kay came by later. There was probably about a 30 minute window. Anyone could have taken it. They might not even have been the same person who killed Luna. Yeah, I don't think it was the same person. I mean, the one that it points to killing Luna would be Clover, because she was saying that, <laughs> basically. Or it could be. There really isn't any way to know. And if we don't know, we really shouldn't try and draw conclusions. That could color our reasoning, and that's not good. Conclusions without any evidence are useless. So just forget any conclusions you might have come up with. Save that brain space for something more useful. Well, I think that about covers it. We clear? Uh, yeah. Good. I gotta be honest, I zoned out. I didn't even really hear anyway, what she just told me. We should tell the others. About Luna, you mean? Yeah. We should go to the white doors then. Dio should still be there. Hopefully Tenmyoji and Clover will be there as well. Yeah, good point. Once it's time to open that door, I'm sure they'll show up. Why are you picking up Luna's bracelet? It's mine. Please, take this with you. Okay. <laughs> He held it out to me. I stared down at the bracelet. It felt wrong to just take it. You have to. <laughs> like we were just using and abandoning her. Is something the matter? You and Fi are the magenta pair. Without the green solo bracelet, you won't be able to open the secondary door. I know. It's just... Then... He pressed the bracelet gently into my if hand. If you don't wish Luna's death to be meaningless, then you must survive. Or do you intend to die without catching her killer? Oh, uh, right. Yes. I sighed and closed my hand around the cold metal. Good. Shall we go? Wait. What? Shit. Did something happen? No. Well, not yet. We might be looking at a worst-case scenario. Uh, excuse me? God, what the hell is wrong with me? How did I miss this? I'm sorry. What? This is my fault. It's just... Uh, there was so much going on, I wasn't thinking. Can you, like, actually say words that have meaning instead of just spewing words? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what did you miss? Quark. Yeah. Quark. Oh. What? Ten Miyoji is a red solo. Uh huh. Clover's a cyan pair. Quark's the other cyan pair. If he's not with them. They can't get through the secondary door. Oh, right. 
Well, no. Uh, I think it did say that it has to be, it's like three are, is the amount of people that have to go through, but didn't they also say like, just kidding, no? Or am I making that up? Yeah, exactly. Can't Clover and Tenmyoji just go through a door? Oh dear, this is bad. And if they haven't gotten in by the time the primary door shuts, they'll be penalized. If we haven't found Quark by then. Time. How much time do we have left? Why are you asking? Just check your clock. Your watch. Four minutes. Yeah, no. Let's just go to the warehouse on floor B. Perhaps Quark has already been found. I sure hope so. Let's move. Um, I think we're gonna go find out next time what the heck <laughs> what's happened to Quark if he's back or if he's not. I, uh, I honestly don't know at this point, but, um, we'll just have to wait and see.